What's up, guys and gals? I am Jay Campbell. And I'm Hunter Williams. And we are back to do another video on peptides. And today's topic is about how long will peptides last, both pre reconstitution, so when you first get them and they're in the vial, obviously, we're talking mostly about injectables, peptides, and then post uh, reconstitution, which is after you put the bacterial static water or the injection water or whatever solution you're using to uh, reconstitute your peptide. So I'll just jump in here and say that. Uh, you're going to get a lot of different opinions from a lot of different people. You know, you're going to get like biochemical engineers are going to give you a different data versus possibly something that me and Hunter will tell you from guys who've been using it on the streets for a long time. But by and large, a peptide before it's constituted sent to you, whether it's lyophilized or it's in raw, as long as you keep it out of direct sunlight and you keep it in a temperature controlled room, it doesn't have to be freezed or cold or anything like that. But just, you know, we like to say like a dark dry area, like a drawer, you know, someplace like that. Um, it's going to last a long time. You know, I've had like, for example, right now, like I have uh, melanotan one, I had a massive uh, order of that, that I was sent by uh, limitless. Like I think it was in 2021 yeah. and yeah, it was probably, got, yeah. yeah Cause I, I gave you a bunch one, of those yeah. boxes. Yeah. And I still have four or five of those boxes left. Cause obviously you guys know, I use melanotan one to enhance my consciousness and also to darken my skin, but that is still, as solid as possible. I've always kept that in a drawer. It's lasted through Mexico. It's lasted through Southern California and now here into South Florida. And it's perfectly fine. And again, it's from 2021. Now, if I was to switch that from a standpoint of like, you guys understand that now I've reconstituted that, then I'm going to probably say that the vial will last, you know, at maximum efficacy. And remember everything that comes from a limitless is 99.8% or it's set back. Again, all sterility processing controlled, independent third party tested. But after I reconstitute it, what do you say? I mean, like it's going to be 99 plus percent for probably three weeks, two to three weeks. Again, kept in a refrigerator, uh, kept out of light or direct sunlight, you know, not left out on the counter like a lot of people will do, right? They'll take their vial out and inject and then they'll forget to put it back in the refrigerator. But as long as it's refrigerated, it's going to maintain its efficacy for two to three weeks. Again, I don't want to get into arguments with like biochemical engineers, but talking to Nick Andrews, who is a biochemical engineer and other people about this over time, you know, very smart people, they're going to say that the maximum amount of efficacy that the peptide will lose as far as its potency is it'll go down to about 70 to 72%, right? So it's like, what does that mean? Well, like if it, you kept that thing in this in the refrigerator for six months and you went back to inject it, you're not going to get the same results as if you injected in the first two to three weeks, right? Because it's lost a little bit of its stability. It's lost a little bit of its efficacy. The peptide itself is probably denatured somewhat, but is it harmful to you to inject it? Absolutely not. Again, provided you kept it in that uh, climate controlled refrigerated area and it's still staying in the vial. And, you know, I'll say you can jump in here in a second, but the reality is, is that you and I have used peptides that we've had in our refrigerator for months, uh, again, for specific purposes, again, like healing peptides. Like I, mo most people know I keep BPC and TB500 in a combo vial and it sits in my refrigerator year round. And if it's, you know, uh, I have a, a, a really bad, you know, soft tissue injury or an accident, or even my daughter does, or my wife or something like that, or even the dogs, right? Like yeah. the dogs arthritis, I'll inject them from that same vial. And it's been sitting in there literally for two years, right? I wouldn't say two years, but a year, I usually go through a vial of it every year. But bottom line is, it'll lose a little bit of efficacy, a little bit of potency. But as long as you keep it in that vial, where it's again, pretty much airtight and sealed, and it's obviously uh, climate controlled through refrigeration, um, it still has efficacy. Yeah. To your point, Jay, I usually, my rule of thumb is like 12 weeks. Yeah. So the moment that I reconstituted, I know I've got like 12 weeks where it's going to be pretty much all the way there as far as potency goes. Especially for GH agonist peptides. Yeah, exactly. And usually, you know, you're depending on the peptide, like some peptides you inject once a week, some type of peptides you inject every day. So you kind of have to like time up how much water you're putting into the peptide and how fast you want to use it. So a lot of people ask us how much water I add, and it's like, well, what's your dose? How long do you want to use it for? So that plays into, um, you know, into like what I decide when I decide to put water into the vial. But to your point of the efficacy, I notice usually it's like after 12 weeks, it kind of drops down probably close to like somewhere to 70, 75%. Now this will require a little bit of math on your part, but what you can do is as the peptide ages, so like the BPC that you have in your fridge, yeah. if you've had it in there for a year, 
you're probably going to inject more right. to get a better effect to get the more potent effect for sure so just for example purposes if one milligram was 20 units of bpc that you were injecting for an injury if it's been in the fridge for a year you're probably going to inject 30 units right. to get like the extra efficacy of it. Yeah. yeah so what you can do you know if you have a peptide that's going to be you know reconstituted for a long time you can start with a little bit of smaller dose and then you know if you have it in there 12 16 20 24 weeks after you can increase that dose. Uh, so like Jay said, I had melanotan one, you know, that it was a box of it. So I used it, you know, you don't use melanotan one every single day, um, you know, two, three years after I got it, once I reconstituted it, it was still as potent as the first day that I got it. So as long as you keep exactly. it in a cool, dry place, a cabinet, you know, somewhere that's like a little bit less than room temperature, um, that's cool. You should have no issues with it. Um, and I think too, like the only thing I would add to that is that if it's been reconstituted for a long time in the fridge, I would say just make sure that you kind of increase the dose by like 10 to 20% if you want the same benefit that you would from day one of reconstitution. And, and we would say, you know, just to be cautious, even though we're not because we're bros and we've been doing this for so long, but, you know, if it's been in the refrigerator for a long time, make sure you swab the top of the vial before you mm, inject yeah. it with alcohol. Again, it's a very minimal, it's an almost non-existent risk, but just to be uh, hygienic and whatnot, do that. But yeah, he's hundred percent right. Just take a little bit more if you're going to do that. Now, you know, granted, before we get attacked, and people say, "How can you say that, Jay? You know, the peptide's going to go bad, and it's not. It's not. Uh, you're not being respectful of human beings by saying that they should use a peptide that's a year old. I mean, again, it's practicality, right? Like I've been doing this a long time. I carry BPC and TB500 with me all around the world, and like I said, I usually make a big you know, 20 cc vial of TB500 and BPC at the beginning of every year. And I carry it with me, you know, around the world. Of course, it's in a coolie pack. I don't ever let it not be refrigerated. But the reality is, is that they will last much longer. They will remain stable. There will be efficacy, not at maximum efficacy, as we said, in like the first three to four, six weeks, five weeks, whatever, but they will remain uh, efficacious to you. So again, if this kind of information you guys find valuable, it's join.jcampbell.com. That is, of course, 25,000 men and women strong who receive a daily email with the same kind of information that Hunter and I make on these videos. So I'm Jay Campbell. Hunter Williams. We'll see you guys soon. Peace.